Hi guys, we're sitting here with Susan Adamkovich and Peter Adamkovich. And we've just finished summiting Mount Kilimanjaro with uh, Serengeti Pride Safaris. And I wanted to ask you what your experience was and what you thought about the, the whole trip and SPS in particular. I, I definitely think it was a class act. They, they set it up in a way for everyone to succeed uh, to reach the summit. Uh, every step of the way, they, they cared about us. They took care of us. They made sure we were OK physically, mentally. We had enough food to eat. We were healthy, had enough hydration. They cared if we were warm. They, they would supply us with you know, medication if we needed it, if we didn't bring it from home. Um, they really cared about just us as people, and it was, I, I couldn't recommend a better group to go through. Um, I agree. I think the uh, SPS did, a, did an excellent job. I think they really did try to make sure that everyone would make it, and they basically tried to do everything possible to make that happen. Um, not having had any experience with any other Kilimanjaro guides, I can't compare them but they, I don't know, I can't imagine another company being much better. I don't see how they would be. Um, I'm sure it's possible, but I, I just don't know how it could be because they did everything from treating the porters really well, you know, on their end, to treating the clients really well on our end. And it was an excellent trip. I really enjoyed being their client, I guess. So the, um, the last question I have for you is, we took the Lamosha route, which uh, the Western Breach, which is often told, you know, like the hardest breach and stuff like that. And you don't, um, the way that Sarah and Get Getty Pride Safaris does it, you don't hike at midnight. You instead, you know, have that, that camp. How, how do you, did that make a difference or? For me it did because I was more about the experience. I mean, you know, I guess if you wanted to say, yeah, I, I reached the summit of Kilimanjaro, you would maybe do the midnight summit. I, I don't know why you would do that because the view is just absolutely breathtaking when you get to the top and I wouldn't want to be there when it was pitch dark. So I think I think they put together the best route possible. Um, gorgeous. I, I just wouldn't do it any other way. Uh, I agree with all of that as well. I think the route that we did is set up to succeed. It is a longer extra day or maybe an extra two days over some other routes. Um, but I think that helps the clients get acclimated to the altitude much better. Um, Susan and I did not have any problems with, well, really minor problems with the altitude. We didn't even take Dymox. Um, but there was really not a much of an issue, I think, because of the slower pace of the route. And, and the uh, fact that you live in Denver. Well, yeah. Well, yes. yes. <laughs> Hello. You come from higher altitude, so that does that just yeah, That probably did help. Um, but yeah, I think in, in the route that we, if you do the Western Breach, I think it allows you to say that you climbed Kilimanjaro. You didn't just hike to the top. Right. I think it's it's more of a, a, a more I don't know a better route. I don't know if you can say that, but I more enjoyable at least in my opinion. Right. And the one for I would say greatest chance of success. Yes. Yes. And I mean definitely Western Breach. I felt like we were climbing. I climbed. I mean I, I felt like I had to put some effort into my achievement, and it was amazing. Great. Well, thank you both very much, and congratulations for making it to the top. Thank, thank you. you.